Шановні колеги, ми... Дякую, колеги, ми продовжуємо працювати в день в Україній кризисі медіа-центрі. І зараз... We have the topic as follows, methodology seminar for teachers, new Ukrainian school teaching Holodomor and other genocides. We have Ludmila Grinevich, PhD in history director of uh, uh, the um, Human Resources Institute in Ukraine. We have uh, um, uh, Larisa Yevtushenko, Valentina Kurilev, Director of Education Section, Holodomor Research and Education Consortium at the Canadian Institute of Ukrainian Studies, University of Alberta. Um, uh, Gulnara Bikirova, PhD in History, representative of Cultural, of Kurultai Special Commission for Studies on Crimean Tatars, Genocide. Viktor Shchupak, director of the Ukrainian Institute for the Study of the Holocaust, Kuma. Mm. Natalia Bem, coordinator of the mm, uh, Holodomor Research Center in Education Programs. Uh, good afternoon, dear friends. Good afternoon. Today we have a very special event, important event. Uh, it is attended by uh, teachers, uh, experts in school methodology from all over Ukraine. And uh, the topic uh, of today's discussion is announced as uh, um, new Ukrainian school, and uh, this clearly reflects what we wish to introduce. The objective of all the teachers uh, who are here today is to support uh, um, the concept of the new Ukrainian school uh, suggested by Minister of Education Lila Grinevich. So uh, today we are here to discuss how Galadamor genocides uh, issues have to be uh, taught at school. Mm, uh, we participate uh, in the uh, International Laboratory of Verba Magistri. This is uh, a venue for uh, exchange of thoughts between uh, academic researchers and uh, uh, teachers and uh, to facilitate uh, the mm, uh, adoption to um, uh, learning process, uh, the um, uh, new methodologies, Ukrainian Research Consortium and some other organizations with um, the support from the Ministry of Education with the Center um, uh, uh, Center for Holocaust Studies and uh, Tkuma, uh, the um, Holodomor Research and Education Consortium, uh, joined together to uh, to hold uh, the seminar. During 20th century, Ukrainians survived several uh, genocides, and those genocides should not be interpreted as uh, local ethnical dramas. That's why in at our seminar we discussed the issues uh, of Holodomor. We uh, that's why we involved Kuma Institute, uh, which uh, specializes in um, uh, Holocaust. And uh, we have uh, Gulnar Abikirova, who is an expert in genocides. Uh, we do believe that we will be able to contribute to the implementation of uh, uh, secondary school reform, which has to, which is announced uh, in Ukraine and uh, which has to be implemented. Today, our teachers require support, our support. 
during our workshop, I mentioned that each of us has to devote attention to teachers and should remember that in our lives we have two mothers. One is our native mother and the teacher. We have to explain to our students that fem great famine and uh, uh, famine is a policy of imperial governments is a genocide or a type of genocide. So the uh, great famine organized in Ukraine, deportation of Crimean Tatars and the Holocaust, uh, this way mm, uh, fundamental violations of the human right uh, on life uh, and uh, uh, we have to work together to um, build our democratic future. Thus rethinking our um, totalitarian past, we will uh, build up our democratic future. I invite Ms. Valentina Korelev. I arrived from from Canada as uh, Director of Education Section uh, of the Holodomor Research and Education Consortium. Our office is uh, located in Toronto in Canada. And uh, here I will have I will deliver a master class. This master class will be called uh, the uh, art uh, of uh, uh, a historian. And I will try to show how uh, uh, young uh, students uh, can work in Ukrainian classrooms and uh, uh, in their capacity of uh, uh, young researchers. They should not just uh, learn the facts by heart. They should be able to use different information sources and uh, um, uh, through critical thinking, um, would be able to come to uh, their own opinion um, about Holodomor. We have been doing this for more than 10 years in Canada. I'm happy that my meeting with Lila Hrinevich was so successful. We immediately discovered that we were thinking alike, and we are happy that we uh, will uh, um, work together. We tried to do this with the previous governments, and we hope that this year, this would be implemented, this time, this would be implemented successfully. And also, uh, in the future, we hope uh, for your support, for our mm, diaspora to be able to, you, to um, make use of your experience and findings in the future. I will try to show how to use interactive methods, how to um, encourage uh, children to critical thinking. This means that the teacher have uh, 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 the teachers have to change the approach. They should be like gardeners uh, to prepare the grounds for children to come to some conclusions to um, develop their opinion. Thus, uh, uh, children will be brought up as uh, proactive uh, citizens. Uh, this is very, this is what is much needed in society today. Unfortunately, uh, uh, sometimes when we hear about violation of human rights, uh, um, about all the violations in society, we understand that in democracy we should be um, uh, uh, warned all the time. We should be uh, uh, very attentive what's gov what the government is doing, what is going on uh, in society, what are the tendencies and trends. Uh, 
uh, uh, and the role of the teacher is very important. Uh, the teacher should be um, ready to changes uh, in the society and be able to uh, respond to them. Raisa Yevtushenko, good afternoon. In fact, what's happening today is very good. And the idea mentioned about setting up the laboratory on learning genocides that were taking place on the territory of Ukraine in the 20th century. I would like to support Ludmila and Valentina on uh, uh, the following. We need to do a lot so that our teachers can really implement this idea of a new school. If we recollect the famous words that a student shouldn't be a glass to be filled in, but it should be the uh, flame to be burnt, uh, and the teacher just has to teach. We want to achieve this, uh, having introduced the idea of a new school. And this seminar, this laboratory, which will be working and will become a powerful platform for our teachers, where they will be able to exchange opinions and ideas. This is a big uh, positive thing, especially because Several powerful scientific research institutions will be implementing it. Gulnara Bikirova. Uh, good afternoon, esteemed friends. Gulnara Bikirova. I am from the Special Commission of Kurultai of Crimean Tata people. And I'll be talking about one uh, very significant event that took place uh, in. Uh, took place the recognition by Ukrainian state, the deportation of 1940, uh, for as the act of genocide. That was not a simple decision made. Our commission worked hard, and the tragic uh, uh, thing that happened to Crimea also affected Crimea and Crimean Tatar people, as well as understanding in Crimea in Ukraine, the problems of uh, Crimean Tatar people. Today, Crimean Tatars being in this very difficult situation are understood by Ukrainians much better than when Crimea was Ukrainian. And this could be considered as a positive fact. Another positive moment in uh, relations between Ukrainians and Crimean Tatars and Crimean Tatars are indigenous people of Crimea and uh, Ukraine. So another positive thing is that in Ukrainian textbooks, we have very important pages of the history of Crimean Tatar people. It's uh, about the deportation of 1944, the development of Crimean Autonomous Republic in 1924, one 1944 that was cancelled because of the deportation and there were no more Crimean Tatars in uh, Crimean Peninsula. And another important uh, stage, page in contemporary history is the page related to the history of Crimean Tatar national movement in the 50s, starting from 1950s up to nowadays, because all that is continuous history and without understanding how uh, the fighting of Crimean Tatar people was going on, their, their fighting for return to their historic motherland, how they were fighting for their rights, being uh, 
in their motherland. We cannot understand now why Crimean Tatars are fighting for their identity, their dignity, and their motherland, Ukraine. Without understanding the history of Crimean Tatar national movement, we cannot understand the contemporary development of the state of Ukraine. The teachers have a very difficult task today because um, on teaching the most complicated pages of the history of Crimean Tatar people depends uh, the development of uh, the um, perception of the world by Ukrainians. Uh, as a historian of Crimean Tatar people's history, I believe that we, our colleagues, will be helping our colleagues, teachers. And uh, this will be happening thanks to the organization which unites all the teachers, the organization which is being formed now. Igor Shupak. Esteemed friends, uh, today we have uh, quite an important event taking place. That's not just some other seminar. It's the beginning of the work of Pedagogical Laboratory, which is set up by the Ukrainian Center of uh, Research of Holodomor with other partners so that the scientific research of Holodomor do not stay among uh, just a very narrow scientific uh, community, but so that they are disseminated to the whole of Ukraine. Also, Holodomor is the most important component of Ukrainian historic memory, and that historic memory is being formed, and the important components are, are the genocides, uh, like Holocaust and deportation of Crimean Tatars, three genocides, Holodomor, Holocaust and deportation of Crimean Tatars. They were the tragic pages of the history. It is important that we consider them, understanding that there's no uh, pain of somebody else. All these three things are the components of our biography, of our history, and we need to take the lessons of history from that, the lessons of resistance, the lessons of rescue, and these are the positive things. It is important that Ukrainian Center of Research of Holodomor is now uh, working everywhere in all regions of Ukraine, and uh, we have representatives of all the regions who cooperate with the center. The center, for example, helped us in Dnipro to create a special uh, big uh, exposition dedicated to Holodomor of Ukrainian people, and that exposition will open two days, uh, the day after tomorrow, with, in the museum which is called the, the Memory of uh, Jewish people in Ukraine, and we are creating Ukrainian political nation. What's happening to Crimean Tatars, that is uh, what uh, all of us are concerned with, because we all are Ukrainians of dif different ethnical origin. Unfortunately, Ukraine now is in uh, awful situation of non-declared war. And it is very important now to stand for historic truth on which we form our statehoodness. And the fact that this comparative approach to analysis of different genocides is taking place and that Holodomor is in the center of that and that is considered in the context of polyethnic history of Ukraine is very important. We understand that the victims of Holodomor were millions of Ukrainian peasants among which more than 90% were single Ukrainians, even though the victims of Holodomor were Russians, Polish, Jews. It is very important to understand how the politics of totalitarian regime was uh, developing, which has different uh, 
which looks differently uh, in uh, the neighboring country in Russia. The profession of historian is very important today because uh, much depends on how we understand uh, today and how we will be constructing tomorrow. Mr. Christian Bahana will speak now. Uh, dear colleagues, today we attend uh, the a workshop devoted to the new Ukrainian school and uh, uh, the way how we will teach the genocide issues to our children. The ideas which will be stated uh, during today's uh, workshop will be disseminated, will be spread via special lab which was um, established intentionally to div and purposefully to um, disseminate uh, the information about genocides in Ukraine. So the and uh, the there are four pillars for the work of this lab. Of course, uh, the history, science, uh, the state, and uh, um, the society. When we speak about history as a science uh, from the very beginning of our independence uh, we uh, brought the holodomor uh, topic uh, uh, to the center of research studies and uh, uh, listed it in the mm, uh, list of topics but only under presidentship of Viktor Yushchenko we started to pay attention um, to this topic and to develop it uh, because it required development uh, um, for many years it had been prohibited for discussion in ukraine when i used to be a dean of the social uh, uh faculty and uh, uh, we paid attention at this topic and uh, start, launched some research. The students went uh, uh, to the villages uh, to collect uh, confessions and uh, came back and said uh, that uh, uh, old people, elderly people re rejected to discuss this. Uh, on the one hand, uh, these were very grave uh, uh, memories. On the other um, hand, uh, they did not know whether it was allowed to speak about or to speak on this topic. And uh, only after another six uh, years in 2006-2007, um, people um, did not feel any fear speaking on the topic anymore. But on at the same time, there were no so many witnesses still alive at that time to uh, to provide uh, um, confessions and uh, evidences. Now we have uh, researchers, uh, we have uh, teachers working on this topic. Now the society is uh, ready to perceive this information. So uh, it's now right moment in time to summarize our experience uh, um, and uh, uh, to to produce some educational product like uh, um, model workshops uh, to shoot some uh, methodological or uh, learning or training movies, etc. This is very complicated topic. We describe a lot of victims and psychologically it's uh, uh, very difficult for children. From political point of view, it's not easy issue because it involves uh, international relations with the neighboring state. And all this requires mm -hmm. new approaches. And our lab, which we mentioned today, um, will resolve these issues. And uh, uh, Ms. Natalia Bem will be the last to turn to speak. Uh, uh, 
I would like to add uh, to what was mentioned by my colleagues. Uh, multi-year experience uh, with the first-year students uh, allows me to uh, to say that the uh, the way how this topic is explained to students at school requires uh, improvement So uh, when uh, young students come from school, they are able to describe the facts, uh, to um, describe the events, but uh, they are unable to analyze the events deeply. And with all my respect to my school colleagues, I nevertheless believe that uh, we should methodologically support them and uh, um, mm, contribute to the bringing up of future generations of Ukrainians. And we believe that the lab which we had established today will uh, work uh, successfully. Thank you, dear friends. Uh, let us finish our press conference and uh, see you later.